This is the Mercury 5E or M5E embedded RFID reader module from Thing Magic. Thing Magic claims that by using one of these tiny devices, I can RFID enable anything from a handheld scanner for inventory management to a pickup truck for real-time tool tracking. Hi, I'm Lou Sirico, and in this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to put that claim to the test, and we're going to build our own RFID reader. Stay tuned. Welcome to the RFID Network. I'm your host, Lou Sirico. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the M5E embedded RFID reader module family from Thing Magic. These are EPC Global, UHF Class 1, Gen 2, and ISO 18006C compliant RFID reader modules that allow anyone to RFID enable just about anything. Thing Magic is a leading developer of RFID technology with broad experience and applications across a wide range of industrial and consumer solutions. Their customers include some of the world's largest retail, consumer, automotive, and manufacturing companies. Thing Magic products include fixed and integrated RFID readers, embedded RFID technology, and professional services. Thing Magic has also been named by ABI Research as the top passive UHF RFID reader module vendor, leading the market in both innovation and implementation. I'm with Yale McGuire, co founder and chief technology officer of Thing Magic. Yale, welcome to the RFID Network. Thanks, Lou. It's great to be here. So, Yale, tell us about these two RFID reader modules you have. Absolutely. So, this is our flagship product. This is the M5V. This is a full power UHF module that's used for a wide variety of applications that can be embedded in many types of things, from high speed label printing to asset tracking, things like that. This is our other product. This is the M5V Compact. This is used where extreme mobility and low power are essential. So this is used in a lot of mobile applications like handhelds. So if I want to RFID enable a device that I'm building, this is all I need? This is an important first step in choosing the right reader that's appropriate for your application. The next step is choosing tags that are appropriate for the materials that you're trying to attach those tags to. Then you have to choose an antenna that's appropriate for a near field or far field application, and then round that out with accessories like an enclosure, power, and software. So can you show us some examples of devices that use these modules? Definitely. So let's start with uh, this device. This is a printer from Zebra. This is an industrial commercial printer that produces uh, RFID tags inside of a label stock and writes those tags and reads them as well. And that contains our M5E module inside of this printer. This is another product from Venture Research. This is an industrial uh, ruggedized uh, uh, reader that contains our M5E module as well. This is another product from Venture that contains the M5E. This is a portal. Uh, and then for the M5E Compact, we have some very small form factor handhelds. So this is a product from Pan Mobile that contains the M5E Compact. You can see how small that is. And then here's another very small form factor handheld that also contains the M5E Compact. We also have some finished products from Thing Magic that also contain these module products. So we have our Astra product. This is a network uh, industrial commercial reader that's used for asset tracking and healthcare applications. We have uh, our USB reader that connects to a PC or laptop and allows you to commission tags, read or write them at your desk. And this is a product that's used inside of vehicles provided by Ford, DeWalt, and Thing Magic that also contains the M5E module. This is used for asset tracking of tools in vehicles like trucks and vans, like the Ford F-150. And finally, we have a product from Jamison that is a, an industrial portal that contains our Astra product. And this is used in healthcare environments and other industrial environments where you want to do asset tracking. So, Yale, can you actually take us through the steps of building an RFID reader using these modules? Absolutely, Lou. Well, let's go do it then. Okay. Here we are in the workshop, ready to build. Yale, how do we build an RFID reader? We start with our module. So this is our M5E, a full one watt module, two antenna ports, connectivity for serial data and general purpose inputs and outputs. It has two of each, input and output. We also need an antenna. Here's a far field antenna that could be used for long range applications, or if you need something with, which is smaller form factor, you have a shorter range device. Then finally, choose your tag. 
You could have something that could go on a container, very long range application, to laundry, to tracking tools in the back of your truck, or even near field applications. Choose in a tag that's appropriate for your application. And then to wrap it all up, you need some accessories. You provide uh, connectivity with power and data. This is a serial interface board. We also have antennas. So if you need more than two, you can expand out to even as much as eight antennas. And then finally, for thermal dissipation, we have a heat sink module. And then you can put all those together and produce a finished product. So here's a face plate that contains four antenna ports, power and data, and the stack up of boards that I've shown you before. And you can just put that together with your tools into a nice little box. Excellent. So these are all the hardware components I need. What about developing an application that, you know, a software application that allows me to read and write tags? Okay. You would get a Mercury 5V development kit that contains power interface and a module and all of the connectivity you need to be able to prototype your application. We provide an extensive software development kit written in C Sharp or Java or Python, language of your choice, with a lot of examples to prototype the application you need. Wow. So if I want to take this and go RFID enable my refrigerator, can we do that? Absolutely. Excellent. So let's go, let's go do it. All right, well, that wasn't too difficult. So yeah, let's tell everybody what we've just done. OK. So let's start with the application. What I want to do is I want this refrigerator to email me when something has run out out of the contents of this refrigerator. So I have an email program that's set up. Right now, it's an empty inbox. And if we open up the refrigerator, let's just take a look at the prototype we've made. We've installed an antenna into the top here, and then here's the reader box that we made. Now, in principle, if this were to turn into an actual product, you could imagine that the module and the antenna could actually be embedded directly into the refrigerator, so you wouldn't even actually see it. And then we'll just look to see if anything's missing, and we see the Coke is actually empty. So I'm just going to take that out, and let's just recycle that. And let's just wait a moment to see what the fridge has to So do. the reader module is OK in the temperature and humidity of the refrigerator? Oh, absolutely. It'll operate down from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. OK, wow, so that's a good Good, good range. temperature range. Now, while we were having that little conversation, an email arrived. You've run out of Coke. An order has automatically been placed through Amazon.com. And it will be here in one day. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right. So, so now we've RFID enabled the refrigerator. How about we RFID enable me? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's go do it. OK. Let's go do it. OK. As you can see, using the M5E modules and complementary products, you can RFID enable just about anything and for all kinds of applications. Sure, you can RFID enable a refrigerator for inventory and cold chain management, or even a pickup truck for tracking tools and other materials on a construction site. But consider some of the potential applications such as personnel identification, retail inventory management, document tracking, garment tracking, sports timing, vehicle tracking, supply chain management, and IT asset tracking. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. If you'd like to build your own RFID-enabled solution, no matter what it is, here's how to get started. First, download our free white paper on selecting the appropriate module for your application. You're welcome to contact ThingMagic for help at develop at thingmagic.com. Have a great idea? Then take the ThingMagic challenge by getting a development kit and sending us a short video of your own RFID-enabled solution. The best videos will be featured in an upcoming episode of the RFID Network. OK, hold still. That wraps it up for this edition of the RFID Network. If you'd like more information on RFID reader modules, please visit ThingMagic on the web at thingmagic.com. Of course, you can also visit us on the web at rfid.net. Thanks for watching. Sorry.